you promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs? Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. in an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. Yeah, never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You! Uh, when did you get here? Uh, quit acting like a child. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is, but they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? Can he play too? Um, sure. I guess so. Then you guys are seeking. Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Hmm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them.
Clocking off, finally. not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. telling me something's not right with this guy. But... That's because I'm tall. And old. I'm a grown man. Ask anyone. All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. <laughs> but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. <sighs> Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. 
What will the boss think? No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. Sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. You're in the footnote somewhere. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the Fight Club. The Fight Club? You don't talk about it. Is this more secret talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the Fight Club? Can you show us the way? But it's an obvious building. Grown-ups are just useless. Come with Hook, I'll take you over. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Uh-huh, in fact, it's awesome! They let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? Loads of kids take part. Ah, despicable. My criminal activity senses are tingling. underground. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. There are so many people here. Looks too short. I can't see anything. What? When did you... Did, did you hear what Hook was saying? Uh, good. To hear everything Hook was saying. <laughs> Grown-up fights are less fun than ours. So what if I can't see? You have to use your fists, palms, and even your fingers in combat. If you don't know how, you're done for. You need to train until your body is an extension of the mind. And the mind is an extension of your will. Fists, palms, and fingers. Ugh, rock, paper, scissors! Phew! No. There are so many people here! What? When did you... Good. Hook didn't say anything, and you didn't hear it. <laughs> Grown-up fights are... You have to use your fists, palms, and fingers. Ugh, rock, paper, scissors! <sighs> Phew! No wonder I was confused. Hey, I heard a new fighter showed up at the club. Uh... A young guy, dark hair. They say he's invincible. Where'd he come from? I heard someone say he's an elite Silvermane guard. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The Silvermane guards have been gone for ages. 
Why would one suddenly appear out of the blue? <laughs> hey, I heard a new fight. I heard some. Shh. Don't. My friend, looking for a ticket? Hey, I heard a new I heard <laughs> My friend, looking for a ticket? Hey, I heard a new fighter sh I heard sh Brothers and sisters! Are you ready for today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest? On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cole Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Sparog! Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone! On and so, let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge begin! Quick, let's help him! Oh, brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events! Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon! It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you. And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. You're welcome. Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion. The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable. But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fists of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin of Team Robomatic. I can take them on my own, you know. Well, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Fighting is meaningless. Let's make it quick. Oh, what a beautiful performance! 
performance! Cold Dragon Young and his last minute admirers emerge victorious! Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? Forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. Hey, look! It's Sampo! Let's get after him. I can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby.
Hey, hey, it's you! I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And anywho, if I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. Save it. You saw us in there and got scared, so you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, my friends, what do I have to fear? Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. Set him up? <gasps> yeah, with a job. You guys are new here, and let me tell you, you're gonna need some cash. And Sampo Koski stops at nothing to help his friends. Saving you was just the beginning. I have to consider your finances too. With me, you get the full service, folks. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. So, it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? <laughs> Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. You win! I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. There's no such thing as a free lunch, of course. Wildfire has no reason to help you yet, so we'll just have to give them one. With your talents, we have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, no matter where you go, there's only one rule to getting things done. Find the demand. You know, like supply and demand. Anyway, the underground has been sealed off for more than a decade, but do you think people here are just resigned to their fate? Because you're looking for something? Why are you asking? Dan Hung told me you guys were searching for a, uh, what's the word? Stellaron. Sounded pretty powerful. If anyone has a clue on its whereabouts, it'll be wildfire. You said I'd uncover a clue if I became the Fight Club champion. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, if you fought in the final round and won, you'd have incredible street cred right now. Wildfire wouldn't think twice about talking with you. I don't see the problem. Well, if you want my opinion, they're a bunch of artless, stubborn fools. But who cares what I think, huh? They're a band of do-gooders who sprung up to maintain order in the underground after the Silvermane guards withdrew. Wildfire set up shop.
Still, don't underestimate them. We walk in the presence of giants. Have you heard that? Have a little faith. It's like I said, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> Wildfire do all day? By everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. 